All right, so I wanted to try building out a really simple visualization using React um, of a tree, right? So in programming, there's something called a tree data structure. More specifically, I'm probably going to use a binary tree where I'm hoping you know what a tree is, but basically you have this, this node which can store whatever piece of data, and that node can store a node over here and then a node over here, and then those nodes can store a left and a right child. So that's kind of like what a binary tree is, but how do you write some code in React to basically draw that to the screen for us using just like DOM nodes. That's what we're going to try to do. Hopefully it'd be a good little beginner, junior uh, challenge for you all or intermediate. I, I don't know what you consider it. Just know how to do it because I think it's not as hard as you think it might be. All right, so let's go and let's just clear out all this stuff. Let's start with a blank slate project. And the first thing you need to kind of do is understand like what is a tree, right? Well, a tree typically has a piece of data and you can represent that data with a object, right? So like this could be the root node. It's a const root is equal to this. And that root node has like a value. So in our case, I'll say one. You also have a thing that points to the left and then a thing that points to the right, right? So it has, I guess I should say a property that points to the left and a property that points to the right. But overall, it's it's something that you can store values to two other things. And those things could potentially be null, right? Um, I am going to try to use some TypeScript on here. So I'm going to go ahead and say type node is equal to value is any. Um, left could be another node or it could be undefined. So I guess I could say it's optional or I could say null. And then right could be a node or null. Maybe I should just say undefined. I know some people get up in arms when you use the word null in JavaScript, but who cares? Let's just say undefined here. And if I could actually type this correctly, right? So technically I don't need to put those two lines, but I'm just doing it so you guys understand. So how do we actually take this and render it out? In fact, I'm going to add one more node here. Remember, you can have the left point to another node. So this thing could be value two. This could have a left of undefined and it could have a right of undefined. Hopefully you understand what I mean by undefined here. So like, let's just not put those. And um, this thing could also have a right. Now, how do we visualize this? I'm not even sure. I have to figure this out. So what we could potentially do. So I think we're gonna have to like create some type of recursive component. Okay, so I'm gonna say function. Um, uh, I already used the type node. I might rename this a T node so that we don't have like a type name collision. And I'm gonna make a function called node, which takes in a node. Uh, well, I guess this will take in props. And those props can have a node, T e node. Does that make sense? I think I just do this, honestly. Uh, what am I doing? This needs to be this node. It's late in the day. I'm tired, but I wanted to make a video for all. So the idea is I want to be able to render out the value of this node somewhere. So let's in this function, we're going to go ahead and just return like a, a div that has a value. So I'll say node dot value. But then we also want to render out the left and the right. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to go ahead and just say node. And then we're going to pass in the node here, node dot left. And then same thing with node dot right. So say this. Now technically, you could dynamically only do this if it's defined, right? So I could say if there is a node dot left, then let's render it out. Some people would probably put the return statement inside the node itself, but I'm just going to do it here. And the same thing, if there only if there's a node dot right, that's when you render out node of right. So does this render out anything to the page? Let's try this out. I'm going to go ahead and move the root inside of this component just just because but we want to go ahead and just try to recursively render out these components i'll say node and then i'll say node of root um right property is missing okay so the typing i have maybe i just want to do this like that might be a little bit easier if i just do that okay Does that makes sense and now the typing will complain to me so what this should show is one and two but we want to actually like style these things a little bit. So let's go ahead and add some classes to the node. You know what? I'm just gonna do inline styling, whatever, YOLO it. Let's just make this a background of blue. And I'll say a width of 10 pixels. And then also a height of 10 pixels. Okay. 
Here we go, with height, and now we should have blue circles on the page. Well, they're not circles, so let's make these like 30 pixels. Pretty good. Maybe even 50, maybe even 50 pixels. Now let's also give this a border radius of 50%. And now we should have circles. You could keep on adding styles here, like we could say display as flex. Justify content is center. Align items, center. That should put the text directly in the center of it. Hopefully. Um, but now what we want to do is as the nodes get lower on the page, like as you traverse the binary tree, you want to basically give some offset to these things, right? I think some of the, the easiest way you could potentially do it is maybe just give it some margin or padding. Because I think as these divs render out, um, I'm trying to think if there's an easy way to do this. I, I, I might just need to use like relative or absolute positioning. That might be easiest. So for every node itself, I'll just say position of absolute. And that'll put them all on top of each other. But as you get lower in the binary tree, you want to like make them lower on the page, right? So the top would probably be a little bit dynamic based on the depth. Now we don't know what the depth is. Okay, so that's something that maybe we should track. I'll say depth and I could say depth and that's going to be a number. And I'll set it equal to set it equal to zero starting off, right? The default it to zero. And this will just be depth of depth plus one. And this will be depth of depth plus one as well. So as you're recursively rendering out these nodes, just increase the depth a little bit. This thing, just set it to zero. In fact, we don't even need to default it. Let's just do that. Okay, so the whole point of that is that as you get lower and lower and lower in the tree, you want to dynamically change um, the top, right? So I'll say depth times, we'll do 100 pixels. We'll do that. So now the nodes should be going down. Now, I think because I gave it a top of zero, um, zero it's all the way at the top of the page. So that's fine. So let's just go ahead and try to also do the same thing with left and right. Now, I'm not sure how you could potentially do that. Um, I think you just need to check where this node was. Like, is this a left node or was this a right node? And technically, we might be able to just wrap this thing in some styling itself and just like give it some, some type of absolute positioning as well, or maybe even some relative. <clears throat> I don't know. I do not know what I'm doing. All right, let's just wrap this in a div. And we're going to give this some styling as too. I'll say style, and I'll say uh, position of absolute. Let's see if we can get this working. And then if it's a left node, then we want to make the left be negative 100 pixels. We'll do the same thing for the right node. But instead of left being 100, I will say left is, or sorry, instead of negative 100, I'll say 100. Now, let's see if this works. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. It looks like it moves the two over, but we need to try with some real data. Let's go over here to our root. I'm going to go ahead and add a right here. I'll say right is going to be value of 3. And then inside of here, I'll say left is a value of 4. Actually, left needs to be a node, so I'll say value of 4. And then that will have a... Now we'll keep it like that. And then this could be, hey, yeah, that's fine. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I think we want to give this thing a right as well. So let's say value of five. Now, one thing I noticed is that there's a lot of extra space here. I think I might have something going on with the, the styles here. Position of absolute, the left and the top. Um, I might just reduce some of the, I might reduce this by like 50, just so it's not like going off the page. And then the left and the whatever, I'll reduce as well. Okay, so I need to figure out why is this thing like spaced out so much? I don't know if there's like some margin or something going on. Like what is this thing? This is the root.
Okay, so we got a div here. That's the first node. And then we have a one, and then we have the left node and the right node. But then those things will have a position that goes down. But I believe since this thing nests more objects, You know, I don't think we need the depth. Now that I think about it, you could just make it static. You know, I thought I was doing something right, but yeah, we don't, we don't need the depth. Um, yeah, let's go back and let's just delete some stuff. You know, sometimes when you're coding, you don't know the good solutions until you actually implement the bad ones. So if you get rid of the depth here, I think this, the way CSS works and the way that we're rendering this, like if we were using, like if we were using like Canvas, then yeah, you probably need to specify the X and a Y. But we're not, right? We're just doing some other stuff. Why is this thing not at the top of the page? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just figure out where the styling's coming from. I'm guessing there's some type of like, what's all this stuff? Let's just delete all the styles. X align is centered. OK, that kind of fixed it. All right, so that's how you can kind of set up a binary tree. Now, there's not enough space here. Um, I probably do need to increase that a little bit. We go back here. Let's try 100. Left, right. And let's do 100 for top. And then, yeah, left, right probably needs to be like lower. You know, I'm not really sure what we do here. Um, maybe we just need to put more spacing between these things. You know, now that I think about it, maybe we do need some type of depth. <laughs> like, like, okay, let me undo what I did because I think, I think you need the depth. You might not need it for the top. I think you can hard code the top to be fixed 50 or 100 or something. But I think depending on the depth, you have to expand the nodes more. So let, let's just try this. I'm going to go ahead and do some string interpolation here. Say pixels. And we are going to do depth times 50 and then we probably need to say plus one maybe i don't know we are going to try to figure this out this one needs to be a negative depth well actually no this one was supposed to be a negative depth this one's supposed to be a positive depth i've messed up my ui what happened here um Why is my stuff not working? Did I put top on accident? Left, left, depth. Oh, uh, okay, depth times. Let me add that back real quick. There we go. Um, I mean, it's, it's still messed up. Where's the two? I think the two, like hidden by the three. So I got some issue going on here. This says left of zero. So this is a three. This one is a one. The two. Left of zero. Left of zero. Yeah, I think actually we want to do. I had it right. I think I just need to plus one. I just forgot to do that. So plus one. And we're going to wrap that. There we go. Do we got a tree that looks okay? All right. Um, now, I still have a bug. Now it's spacing out way too much. I think maybe actually what I want to do is I need to mod it by two. And depending on if you're like left or right, that'll change the size of stuff. At this point, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just literally coding by faith here and just adding stuff and hoping I will get to the solution. Probably not the best way to code, but it's the most enjoyable. So if it is divisible by two, um, what we actually want to do is reduce the width or something. Now, if this doesn't work, I might actually give up because I'm tired and I don't want to code anymore. So actually, let's do a ternary. If depth mod two is equal to zero, we're going to do a ternary and we'll say 50 pixels. Otherwise, we'll say 100 pixels. 
You know, sometimes like you have a hunch of what the solution is and like you try to code it up and sometimes you get it. Sometimes you spend eight hours trying to get it. Like this is one of those situations. So let's make this positive. Um, it doesn't help that I have pixels at the end of this. It'll mess up the styling. Okay, so is this kind of in the right direction? We have one and then two and three. This thing, I need to put the negative here. Okay, so I think I want to swap them. I think I want it to be larger and then smaller, and then larger and then smaller. Maybe by a little bit more. Be like 70. Okay, I don't know if this is right. I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple more things and we're going to wash this thing full apart. But honestly, I think it's kind of good enough. And I'm too like... Yeah, this looks okay. Now if we add another one though, this is where stuff might get a little bit crazy. So on here I'll add a right and a left. I'm just going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to paste this here. There we have it. Kind of works. Do it here again. Um, I'm going to put the, the value here. Yeah, I think this is good. I mean, I have to tweak this, this, the widths a little bit, but I think this is a little bit better. Um, and now it's just a matter of drawing lines in between these things, which... Honestly, I don't have the mental capacity right now to figure out, but I believe you could probably do some type of like ATAN or some rotating, or you could do maybe an SVG and have it draw from one point to another point. Um, but I don't really know SVGs, and like I said, I'm too tired to try it out. So I hope this challenge was fun to watch me try to solve, and I hope you try to do it yourself as well, because I do think this is a cool challenge to try to figure out. It quizzes you on recursion and how to like visualize data structures in a UI. And I challenge you to like send me a link when you get a, a better looking um, node going. I don't know if this is, I think this, this needs some help. I think there's some more tweaking that needs to happen. The further down you get in the tree, the more spacing you probably need to add. Like I'm sure like the constants here, you probably need to times this by some type of depth and just make it become larger and larger. But at the very least, I solved like half of it, right? Do I get half credit for that? Do I pass the interview? You guys want to hire me? If not, um, I'll keep on practicing. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon, and like always, I have a Discord channel if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers. Have a good day and happy coding.